In this section, we're going to start talking about testing the GDI injector. There is another section that talks about testing these injectors with a DSO, a digital storage scope. Make sure you view that also. It's kind of difficult to test these injectors at this point in time. In this section, we're going to talk about scan tool testing. In the next section, we're going to talk about DSO testing. What makes testing these injectors difficult, say more difficult than a PFI injector? Well, if you think back, PFI injectors were hard to test early on, only because we didn't know how to do it. So this is your beginning steps in how to test a GDI injector. The pressure is constantly changing in these injectors, and we talk about that when we talk about the high-pressure fuel pump. So make sure you view that selection. And then the voltage is changing. We talk about this in the electrical selection. How? By changing from 65 to 95 volts. And think about it now. If the injector resistance is fixed, and it is fixed by the manufacturers themselves, and the voltage is changing, well then the current is constantly changing also. But these aren't the most difficult reasons in order to test an injector. They're hard to get to. Simply put, you can barely see the darn things. Here in this photo we see the intake manifold removed from this V engine, this V6 engine, and we can barely see the common rail there, more or less the injectors. At the auto show, we took photos of cutaway engines, and you can see on this cutaway V6 engine, we can see the high-pressure pump over to the common rail there. And then we can see the common rail going up under the intake manifold, making it very difficult to see the injectors. We can see the injector here when it's highlighted only because we're on this cutaway engine. When we look up underneath the manifold itself, we can see the injectors. But remember, this is an engine on a stand at an auto show, and it's a cutaway so we can see these injectors. You don't see this when it's in the engine compartment. Here we can see the injector on the left-hand side on a cutaway engine testing the GDI injectors with a scan tool. There are tests that the manufacturer supplies to each indiv individual injector operation and that's going to allow us to know a lot about the circuitry for each injector. If we look at the top P0261 and P0262 we can see that the 61 is the injector circuit low and 62 is the injector circuit high. Well, all we have to do now is apply some basic electrical theory. And we always tell you, if you can't get voltage high enough, go test the power. So if you get a P0262 where the circuit is high, that means we have too high of a circuit, meaning we don't have a good ground or Whenever you can't get voltage low enough, in this case it's too high, when we can't get it low enough, we're actually going to go test the ground. Now when we talk about testing the power and or the ground, it's not always just the PCM we're talking about. It can be connectors and splices that are causing resistance in the circuit. It can be the injector itself that's shorted or open. If it is the computer, don't forget to look up technical service bulletins in order to make sure there's no reflash or reprogramming that'll fix the problem. And if you decide that you're going to change the computer, make sure it has good powers and grounds. Here we have a relative injector flow test from a scan tool. And we can see the lowest milliseconds is 139, the highest being 141. And they're all about even. What does that mean? That means if the injectors are dirty, if they're carboned up, they're all carboned up identically. What are the odds of that? It probably means that the injectors are clean and their electrical circuits are working normally. Here's an example of one injector showing a problem. It's dropped down to 119 milliseconds. Now, why did the computer do that? Is it because that injector was dirty and leaking and it had to reduce the on time to correct for that? Is it because there's resistance in the splices or the connectors? Is it the injector itself? This test doesn't tell you what's wrong, it just tells you you have to go test injector number three. Here's a different example, totally different. 
the milliseconds is zero. The computer is not even attempting to, fi to fire this injector number one. What does that mean? Well, the computer could be protecting itself. If this injector or its circuit was grounded and it applied the ground to turn this injector on, current flow would damage part of the circuit and or the computer. We have to find out why the computer isn't firing this injector by itself.